Black holes are still somewhat of a mystery. To us, they are one of the most frightening phenomena that exist in space, and our galaxy alone is thought to contain at least a hundred million of them. We hardly know anything about what lies inside of a black hole. We know and understand what we see on the outside of a black hole, but we have no way of going inside one to take a look at what is really happening. At a great distance, a black hole behaves like an ordinary object with large mass. It obeys the laws of classical mechanics. In fact, it is impossible to distinguish between a blue dwarf weighing 265 suns from a black hole of the same mass based on their behavior. But when we get closer to the dark monster, the laws of Einstein's general relativity theory come into play according to which the gravitational force is capable of distorting space and time. Black holes, these monstrous and seemingly voids of black space, suck in everything that gets too close to them. Space dust, asteroids, planets, and even entire stars. Thankfully, no black holes are near our solar system. But let's imagine, just for the next few minutes, what would happen if a black hole got close enough to our solar system. By the way, black holes aren't all the same mass. Some black holes can have the mass of 50 suns. Others can have the mass of 50 billion suns. In fact, if you replaced the sun with a black hole with the same mass, nothing would change, except we'd freeze. But that's beside the point. There are two types of black holes in the universe. The first is supermassive black holes that are found at the center of most galaxies. These are not that threatening, unless our galaxy collided with, let's say, Andromeda. It won't happen for a few billion years, so I think we're good. There's another type of black hole that does pose a threat to our solar system, and those are interstellar black holes. They are created when a star goes supernova. There are also two possibilities of encountering a black hole. The first one suggests that a black hole appears spontaneously in the vicinity of Earth. We can assure that this threat is minimal. But the second possibility is more real. In 2000, astrophysicists have confirmed the presence of black holes traveling through the universe. But still, the probability of one of them passing by our solar system is minuscule. But it is worth to explore. Most black holes form when a star which is 10 times more massive than our sun runs out of fuel for fusion. This causes the star to collapse, explode as a supernova, and, if enough material is left over after the explosion, becomes what is called a stellar black hole. A black hole is an object with such a high density that even light doesn't travel fast enough to escape its gravity. Something that falls into a black hole can never escape, because nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. What would happen if one of these stellar black holes wandered into our solar system? Very bad things. The first indication we might get that something unusual was happening would be subtle changes in the orbits of the outer planets. These changes would be detectable at least by the time the black hole was a few hundred thousand times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. By then, the black hole would be near the outer reaches of the solar system, in an area filled with icy, comet-like objects called the Oort Cloud. It's possible that the gravitational disruption caused by the black hole traveling through the Oort cloud could gravitationally catapult a large number of additional comets into the inner solar system, some of which might strike Earth or other planets. If the black hole passed through only this outer part of the solar system, for example, if it were moving too fast to be strongly affected by the sun's gravitational influence, an increase in comets in the inner solar system might be the only effect we would observe. At this point, we likely wouldn't see anything at the black hole's position, even if we looked with the best available telescopes. The black hole itself doesn't give off light, and the only way we might detect it 
is through the energy released when it consumes some gas. Only until the black hole reaches the inner edge of the asteroid belt would we be able to directly observe the light bending effects of the black hole. By this point, the effects on the Earth's orbit would be extreme. The ellipticity of Earth's orbit would be changed, creating a new cycle of seasons. During Earth's closest approach to the Sun, temperatures would increase immensely, while during its farthest distance, temperatures would plummet far below what we now experience in winter. If it was massive enough, it would eat everything. If the black hole continued to move toward the inner solar system, the orbits of the planets would continue to be disrupted in dramatic ways. Jupiter, the most massive planet, might be snared by the black hole due to their strong mutual gravitational attraction. The black hole would pull gas from Jupiter, forming a bright disk of swirling hot gas. Despite the fact that Jupiter is thousands of times larger than the black hole, the black hole is thousands of times more massive than Jupiter and easily wins. Judgment Day By this time, the Earth is already in grave trouble. The intense gravitational pull of the black hole would have torn our planet asunder, causing devastating earthquakes and supervolcanoes the likes of which humanity has never witnessed before. Upon reaching Earth's orbit, our planet is all but doomed. Since the Sun is 99.9% .9 of the mass of the solar system, the Sun and the black hole experience a strong gravitational pull towards each other. The black hole would approach the Sun, whose gas is stripped and pulled into the black hole. The final battle between the black hole and the Sun wouldn't be quite so one-sided. A gravitational tug of war would ensue and, depending on the initial mass of the black hole, there's a chance the sun could survive in some shape or form. Unfortunately, the most likely scenario is that the sun is ripped apart and joins the planets in the swirling mass of superheated dust and gas roaring around the black hole. This accretion disk would extend hundreds of thousands or perhaps millions of miles from the relatively tiny black hole at its center, replacing our solar system with a circular inferno of the dead inhabitants it once housed. If not massive enough, it would disturb gravitational field and orbits of everything in the solar system. It can knock us out of the solar system into the coldness of space. What do you think? We'd like to hear your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. There's lots of fascinating stuff ahead.